Hi everybody, welcome back to Sevtech Ages, episode 52 I believe. I've just, uh, I've just checked, a, well I checked a while ago actually, and yeah, it is 52, uh, with me Sid, and uh, yeah, we're, we're over here doing some work uh, against this thing. Um, so we are melting iron blocks at the moment, taking our iron and turning it back into block form. Um, we've got a whole load of gubbins in our inventory and we are going to do a number of things. So first things first, we are going to make and we are going to swap all of these around. Mm, interesting, that's not working like it should do. Let me just check, does it have to be at the top? Is it going to be that specific in its shaped crafting? It is. Traveller's goggles, which is a, a ba the base traveller's goggles, I should say. Um, these are used um, to make a number of upgrades for the helmet, and we are going to make one of those today. We've uh, got more or less everything we need. I've got the uh, potion stand that we got out of the twilight, got that out. I have brewed up an awkward potion and we are going to make we've got a little one piece of nether uh, blaze powder in there and we're going to brew up uh, a night vision potion which which should be almost done uh, anytime now while that's doing i also want to make uh, a one of these a base gauntlet so we'll take those that's the night vision potion three minutes and we should be good now to go and combine those with the flint and steel and the golden carrot and make night vision goggles that's fine we've also got night vision potions not too worried about those now the base gauntlet i want to combine with these eight blocks of quartz to make a gauntlet of power um yeah we are upgrading again before we head back into the betweenlands and uh I'm just taking the opportunity. I'm not going. To, I'm not going mad. There's, you know, this has still got a modifier free. The, um, these have still got modifiers and stuff free. But it just occurs to me that we are in a position to to do something useful with this uh, thing. We also are going to need a few bits of gold. Uh, one, two, three, four of those, I think, actually. So chuck those in so they go through as well in a moment. And we'll just process that a lot. Um, now, in terms of the thing, we're going to add this to this, and that will give a. Oh God, they look <laughs> nerdy, but there you go. There's night vision. The status is inactive. It's a toggleable ability. Cool. I've got goggles. <laughs> oh dear, I get too 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 easily too easily excitable about this kind of stuff. Um, yeah, what else? Uh, we taking this, this piece is going to be combined with those, and we'll get little nice little gloves on it. Um, that should increase the ability we have there with the, uh, Don't know whether you can actually see what damage we're doing there. You can't. Let me just pour another block while we're doing it because this is obviously going to be a uh, stumbling point. Now the boots, the boots themselves, uh, they've got three modifiers. What I thought we could do with those is pile redstone on them. 100, 150. That should be sufficient. Uh, and that should give us a little bit more speed which you see the problem in the in the between lands is you've got all that mud and I don't really want to have to wear the wellies because they provide very little armor whereas these provide armor and hopefully with this speed boost I should get the, the kind of the inverse if you like of this going on Right, now I would like to take you out of there and 
I'm going to need more than that actually, aren't I? Let me uh, pour a plate. I'm going to need four more. One, two, three, four. I have gone through a fair bit of iron doing this as well. <laughs> but, yeah, totally worth it. So, do another, another one. Jump back to that. Pour a block. Because we're going to need 16 blocks of iron. Yeah, it's, it's not cheap. Uh, I don't want to hit that yet. Uh, there we go. You can go over there. We'll pour another one of those. And one more. Yeah, iron's such a pain to pour. It really is. Um, anyway, I've got eight more blocks to pour. So what this is for while we're doing that is... I go in here and grab those and while we're at it we'll grab you and place you back there we should be good to take these and make resistance modifiers which we can apply again accordingly this has got and that's got no modifiers so we'll, but it's also got the fire resistance modifier on it we're going to apply one Mm. <sighs> yeah, you can have two. There you go. And you can have another one. So that gives it resistance two, which is basically, as far as I can make out, very similar to protection. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to count, continue casting these. I'm going to add one to my chest plate. Uh, chest plate's got some modifiers we may apply later. Uh, this particular one, possibly, or that could be. I, I may go. There. I may actually go there, um, but I haven't got wool, so I might go and make that while we're waiting for the uh, iron to pour and everything. Let me just uh, get those together, and I'll be back in a moment. All right. Um, so we got the last two of those. Uh, we've also got the makings of the base cloak which combined with an ender pearl congealed slime and those will make a traveler's cloak slow fall. So we should be okay to take that uh, and apply that. Oh wow! <laughs> Uh, okay, we'll take that, and then we're going to take that and apply one of those as well. And we are going to apply one of those to the hat, and we should be good. And looking, let's have a look how, oh man, we look badass. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yes, indeedy. Um, okay, well, that's, that's things done. Uh, I'm going to leave the engineering manual here because, and that for that matter. We'll need all of that. Uh, I just need to up my uh, hearts by a couple of points and we can head back into the fun and games known as the um, hmm yeah known as the Betweenlands and see if we can't get ourselves into a little bit of trouble. <laughs> um, undoubtedly I can. I've got plenty of food. We've got everything else. We've got steel leaves. We are good. Let's go. I'll see you there. Well, we're back where we belong in the old Betweenlands. Um, the, what we needed to do here was a few things, but we need to do some ruins. We've... Um, White Fortress, possibly we could do with getting some of that done, and we we'll probably need to get a pirate angry by hitting its tree. Um, that, that sounds like suicide, but yeah, that's always Mr. Fun. Uh, I'm not worried about the farming quest at the moment. Not too worried about half of this stuff, but there is the... Um, display a swamp hag, a white, a tar beast, a sludge, and a peep on me. Again, sounds horrendous. Um... Especially for someone like me who's, you know, not the, uh, certainly not at any time classed in the bravest person. I'll take the Simonite shield, that should be fine. Um, 
I don't know if there's anything else. These we need for purification, as I recall, but I can't remember exactly what we do with them. That's rubbish, so we're not going to bother with it. Uh, and we, but we will go down and grab a couple of our potions, seeing as we lost them uh, due to the glitch with the um, with the hoofer. How you doing, fellas? Haven't seen these guys for a while, have we? Uh, and their spares. So, yeah, what do we need to do? We need to, specifically, we're looking for the iron apple. Now, there's a couple of things we need from the twilight up here, uh, there, and there. But this is what we're after, and it's loot from chest in shrines, cragwatt towers, and white fortresses. Uh, they sound like fun. <laughs> so, I'm just trying to think which way we want to go. Um... I suppose it's kind of swings and roundabouts, really. As long as it's not a blood moon, I'm fine. By the way, it doesn't significantly help me in the mud. Um, but that's fine. I'll live with it. We can still work our way around in here. and uh, In fact, before we do that, let me just check something. Uh, options, controls... We need to know what key it is to toggle our um, night vision. I'm going to guess N. But, you know, uh, not necessarily. Let's try and find the... Can I find night? No. Toggle. Hover mode, toggle. No. Okay. I don't know what the. Uh, not into. This is all. For, there we go. Constructs. Helmet. G. Okay. Don't drop leaves on me. That's rude. Why is that not playing? Uh, options. Control. Let's go for. I did find. I find there we go. N? No. Damn you. Okay. Let me just sort this out. Be back in a second. All right. So this is as far as we've come last time, and that was the altar head we discovered. I think uh, if I carry on going this way with the old boat, we should be in for a little bit of fun. I hope. We'll take the uh, raw angler meat, it's uh, always a bit of food, always welcome. But what we need to find is... Go, go away. Hang on. Uh, yeah, that really didn't work for you, did it? Oh, that did though. It didn't actually hurt me. And that one, that angler. Ah, there you go. Dead. Don't even go there, mate. I didn't hit you anyway. Um, right. So that was that. I'm, what I want is some more ribbons or something, don't I? And I'm not seeing anything. I don't know how common some of the structures are in this uh, realm, which is part of the issue, I think. But I feel more confident than I used to in here. Um, as you probably recall, I am I'm a bit of a nesh when it comes to this kind of thing. So, uh, yeah... Oh, hello. I love that. Oh, wow, that is just a completely different experience now, isn't it? <laughs> From taking an absolute age to dig things out. Ah, get me up. To so that is completely different. So, if I were looking... For 
Stop it. Crag rock and things. Where would I be looking? Because... Uh. Oh, there's a leech. Get it. I see you, leech. Come here. I see you. Oh, he's tough. Tough little bugger. Hang on a second. Let, let it get closer and then... It's dead leech now. Right. So there's those fly things over there. And that does look like a singularly unpleasant place. But obviously less unpleasant than it used to look. Well, that's one of them big toady things, isn't it? I'm not worried about them. Uh, I was worried about them the first time I ever saw one. Because they, they look terrifying. But, on the whole, they seem to be quite friendly. So, you know, live and let live. So, yeah, we need to just basically hunt around a bit, I think, and try and, uh, try and find some stuff. So, I'm going to continue hunting around, and I'll come back when either I've been uh, killed a little bit. Or, uh, hopefully I won't get killed even a little bit. Or, you know, um, I, oh, I thought I put those away, damn it. Oh well, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, or when there's something new to show you. So I'll be back in a bit. I'm just gathering resources from here that I kind of was too chicken to get last time, and... Oh, it's gone now. There was like a willow the wisp there. I don't know whether it means anything or whether it has a. Oh, hello. I don't think I've seen you before. Um, uh, there's some over there as well. So I'm not sure whether it's important or not. I'm not sure how long these shears are going to last either. There. What are you? Are you anything? Now, in mythology, the willow the wisps were. Um, they lured people to their uh, deaths. So, yeah, not friendly, really. Um, and probably not the wisest things to go and run up to, but... Hey, I see you. That was not pleasant. I think I got anything for it, did I? Uh, that's just rotten food. Okay, um, that was unpleasant. I think I probably need to go and find a way out of out of this swamp and to get more interesting things. Inter incidentally, I one shot those things with bows, or oh, and with my sword, so that's handy. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get out, head that way, I think, a bit, and see if we can't uh, find something less muddy, if nothing else, because this is painful. Whee! But this is much, much easier <laughs> to navigate around. I'll see you in a bit. Well, oh, I found another one of these. These pools are deep. Um... And we seem to be reasonably okay for for mobs. So, uh, I, what have I? What I really should do about now, because I'm running out of storage space before I go running off into there, is grab one of these and load it up with our ill-gotten gains so far, which mostly is garbage anyway. But it just means that we're not worrying about these things. These willow the wisps are quite cool. Alright. Wonder whether you can no you can't. Okay. Ow. <laughs> Come on then. I see ya. Little bugger. 
all I wanted to do was climb into that thing and of course they had to be one of them things didn't they oh god and this has to be mud as well couldn't be a, a decent block a sensible block no 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 it couldn't be that right so I want those because obviously free stuff and then somewhere down here there should be a chest if I can find it there, no, well, there was one was there? I definitely did find one last time where is it what are you doing with my chest there we go excellent we got some of that we got uh, some arrows more importantly we got that really not worried about that not worried about those to be honest uh, cool well that's a thing but it's still not anything new which is uh, back off make a good little base in here a little fort <laughs> Okay, uh, let me put that away, that, that. Uh, I don't really want to put that away. I'd rather bin that. Can I close that off before? Yeah, I can. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Uh, can I make? Yeah, good. That'll uh, sort that out. Excellent, excellent. Right, we need to decide where we're going because we're not getting anywhere here right now. So, yeah, let's... Um, Let's continue on a bit, shall we? I'm going to head, continue heading. Looks to be something over there, actually. Well, oh, you can't catch me. No. Yeah. Definitely something over there. I need to find a safe space to... Uh... Ow, ow. Get off me. Hup. Ow. Fish that can get out of the water are definitely no fun. Right, so there's a... There was a cloud over there. It's vanished. Die. And you. I see you. It's nice having virtually infinite ammo. Uh, <laughs> well, just by the simple expedience of putting it back on your board. Right, you got another one of them. Oh, hang on. I thought I saw one over that. One over there. I don't know whether I can. Yep. Any more fishes? I thought I saw. Yeah. There's definitely a. Um, hmm. I should be able to get in and grab that and be out before. Wee. Okay. Oh, there's one down there as well. I want it. I think I thought there was one down there. It lied. <laughs> right, let's head over to that and see what we got. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but it, uh, it's certainly something we haven't played with before. So, yeah. And there's a... Oh, nettles. Another one of those cloudy beasts. Over there. Oh, hello. Uh, that's, I'm not worried about the actual... Rock crystals, we've got more of those than we know what to do with, but I will have the, um... I will have that. Even though we can make it very easily now. Oh man, this mud is such a pain. I just wish there was like a modifier that allowed us to... I don't know, uh... Make our... Armour work 
better in the mud. Damn mist. Okay. Uh, okay. Right. Oh, there's uh, another one over there. Look. Right. Can we? One. Oh, we got the pothead achievement. I don't know what we actually. Oh man. Hmm. Hang on. Uh, let's work this out. Uh, no. Sulfur, another item scroll, uh, yeah, but there's more over there, so I'm going to go ahead and head over that way, I think, and just keep on exploring, back in a bit. Well, this is new, <laughs> I don't know what it is, um, let me just turn the night vision on, we've got a better feel for the place, there appears to be another couple over there, um, it's a giant root, apparently. I don't know what, if anything, it does. Hmm. Just seems to be a very big root. Uh, I'm wondering whether I should put my... Oh, hello. Spiky things on the top. Nice view. Well, you know. For a given value of nice. But really doesn't appear to be that much to it. Other than that it's, you know, a very tall root. Whee! Hmm. Still not finding those elusive things. I, I must say, I do feel a hell of a lot more confident. Why did that not work? Status inact. Oh, hang on. Do I need to uh, activate? Oh, right, okay. Well, I feel like a fool. I'm going to have to work out what the uh, key for that is now as well. But, um, yeah, not too bad. The costs and the likes. Still not sure which way to go. Uh, wow. More like a bloody dolphin. Looks like there's something, almost something interesting over there. So let's let's get the uh, uh, let's get the old boat going and head over there. Thank you. I hate it when I can hear the pitter-patter of tiny feet and I can't see what is pitter-pattering. Hmm. Hmm. I really am unsure what to make of this. I mean, that's got some form of illumination on it. God knows what. Ah, that's Cragrock over there. So we might be in the right general direction then. I'm curious as to what that is though. Let me get over there, I'll be back in a bit. Well, this is all crag rock and these are all craggy rock areas. Um, there are a hell of a lot of anglerfish and things around the area, but not a lot of anything else. It's, it's just crag rock. Um, Oh, I can't do can't can't do that. Uh, okay, and let me just reverse out of there. I was being chased by about half a dozen anglerfish. Um, now, I just turn that on. You know, there's really not a huge amount to see here. Plenty down at the bottom, but struggling to know where to go next. Kind of got the impression that there might be something in these craggy rock biomes, but really not seeing anything. Oh, slow me down! Don't too too much. The other thing is, I am 
incredibly getting very, very, very far away from home. And I am conscious that if I have an accident out here, and I think we all know what I mean when I say an accident, um, we could basically kiss this equipment goodbye. Well, I would try to get it, but you know, I think it would be significantly difficult to get. I mean, the worst thing that could happen, I can, as you can imagine, would be a blood moon um, event happening while we're out here, because that could. I mean, you saw, you saw, it nearly killed me last time. So I'm thinking that I might go back and try a different direction. Um, as much as this has been entertaining, I'm not seeing any kind of useful things. We found a ruin, which you know we added that to our list of achievements, but I haven't found the uh, the other bits I need. So. Hmm. Let me just fertile around a little bit more. I'm going to kind of head generally back in the way of the uh, direction of... <laughs> I'm not going to head home. I just think we've just found something worthwhile uh, going to have a look at. Uh, what we need to do is find a place where I can get out the water. Yeah, I think that might do it. Now... I am conscious that we are very uh, late in this episode, so I think we're going to find somewhere to just hole up at this side, if I can, and uh, not get too close, don't want to upset them after all, and uh, let's have a look what we got going on here. So that's definitely the white... Uh, the the, the uh, hoofer, what's it? The white fortress, isn't it? Oh no, that's Cragwell Tower. We haven't found the white fortress then. Ooh. However, we def definitely need to sort ourselves out before we head in there. So that will be something for next episode. And until then, thank you very much for watching, guys. And uh, I will see you soon. Bye for now.